What is an IP address or a network port? How do they relate to a network interface? If you have ever struggled with networking concepts, this video is for you. The purpose of this video is to go over some basic networking topics, which will be specially useful to master networking for Docker containers. If you are confident with your networking knowledge, you can skip this video and directly go to the next one. But if you have very limited or no networking knowledge or want to revise the core concepts, then keep watching. Here's what we will discuss today. Network interfaces, internet protocol, public and private networks, IP addresses, subnet masks and CIDR, network ports, and DNS. Note that we will be referring to computers or devices in a network as hosts. All right, to recap from part one, a network is formed when a group of devices is connected over a medium to share data. But how do hosts connect to a network? Enter network interfaces. A network interface is the point of interconnection between a host and a network. It can either be physical, like this one, or virtual, which is emulated using software. A local network, such as a LAN, can be formed merely by connecting multiple hosts together, generally by using hardware devices like switches or hubs. This means there can be many local networks where communication between hosts is possible but only within that local network. But how would one transmit data across these networks? Enter the Internet Protocol. The Internet Protocol or IP is a standard protocol for transmitting packets of data between hosts across networks connected to form an IP network. IP allows us to form a network of networks, which is where the term internetwork or internet comes from. A host can send data to another one by specifying the destination host's IP address on the data packet. The packet of data can then be routed to the correct host via one or more routers. A router is a special purpose host or device with two or more network interfaces connecting two or more networks, which allows it to forward data packets from one network to another. A network is said to be public if anyone can access it from outside. The internet is the best and probably the only pure example of such a network. A private network is one to which access is restricted. Local networks like those in a company or school are examples of private networks. Private networks offer security by not exposing hosts directly to the internet. All right, so what are IP addresses? Each host in an IP network can have one or more IP addresses, depending on how many network interfaces it has. And this is an example of an IP address in decimal notation. And this is the corresponding IP address, the same IP address expressed in binary. You will notice that there are four different numeric segments separated by dots. Since eight bits are used to create each of the four dot separated segments, the value of each segment 
can have 2 to the power 8 or 256 values from 0 to 255. Sublet masks and CIDR notations. Since an IP network can span multiple smaller subnetworks or subnets, there needs to be a way to specify the network a host belongs to in order to route the data packet correctly. The IP address of a host is often specified like this. The slash 24 specifies the part of the address that belongs to the subnet, which is called the subnet mask. In this form of expressing the IP with the subnet mask is also called classless interdomain routing notation or CIDR. So for example, this IP uses the first 24 bits out of the 32 bits to identify the network, whereas the rest of the 8 bits are used to identify hosts within that network. This allows 2 to the power 8 or 256 different IP addresses. The following shows the minimum and the maximum IP address values for this subnet. Therefore, we can deduce that the larger the subnet masks, i.e. the larger the number after the slash, the fewer the hosts that subnet can accommodate. All right. We now have an idea of how data is transmitted to the correct network and the host using IP. But a destination host could be running many different applications. How can one host reach a particular application on a destination host? Enter network ports. A network port is a logical endpoint for specifying the correct host application or process being communicated with. A port is identified for each transport layer protocol and IP address combination using a 16-bit unsigned number. The two most prominent transport layer protocols are UDP and TCP respectively. This means for a host with a given IP address, there can be up to 2 to the power 16 or 65,535 ports available for TCP and UDPH. Each application or service running on the host could then use zero or more of these ports that are available. Port numbers between 0 and 1023 are called well known or system ports. These ports are reserved for standard network services like TCP port 80 for HTTP, TCP port 443 for HTTPS, etc. Alright, just one more networking concept to remember. The Domain Name System The Domain Name System, or DNS, was invented to translate domain names to IP addresses and vice versa, as it is difficult for us humans to remember numeric IP addresses. At the simplest level, DNS records are just domain name to IP address mappings like this. Records like these and more complex ones are distributed across multiple levels of name servers which serve to provide this domain name to IP address translation and a few other operations. Your host machine keeps a local cache of recently queried DNS records and asks name servers when it doesn't find the requested domain record locally. You can easily check out IP addresses for a domain such as google.com by using the NSLOOKUP utility.
all right so in conclusion we briefly discussed about basic networking concepts today this included network interfaces the internet protocol public and private networks ip addresses subnets network ports and dns if you can keep these networking concepts in mind docker container networking will be so much more easier to understand and apply thank you for making it so far see you on the next video till then be bold and keep learning but most importantly take care